Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today in this video, we will be discussing on how we can measure the gain of a particular antenna. So in order to measure the gain of a particular antenna, there are two methods. The first method is the absolute method and then the second method is the comparison method. So within the absolute method, there are two ways in which we can calculate the gain of an antenna. One is by using two antennas and the other one is by using three antennas. So in effect, there are basically three methods in which we can measure the gain of a particular antenna. That is two methods under the absolute method and one is the comparison method. So now let us look into the two antenna method which comes under the absolute method for the calculation of gain of a particular antenna. Let's get into it. So now in the first method we have the two antenna method which comes under the absolute measurement method for calculating the gain of a particular antenna. So for this purpose let us assume or let us take two identical antennas. So let us take two identical antennas which are identical to each other. So in such kind of a case, in order to calculate the power that is received by one antenna which has got a gain GR, which is transmitted from another antenna which has got a gain GT is found out using an equation called the Friss transmission equation. So the first transmission equation says that the received power PR is equal to PT into gain of the transmitted antenna into gain of the received antenna the whole into lambda by 4 pi R the whole square. That is what Friss transmission equation tells us. So I have written it down. So first what we do is we take two identical antennas and therefore when we take two identical antennas in order to calculate the power that is received from one antenna with gain GR when transmitted from another antenna with gain GT in order to find that we use Friss transmission equation which is given by PR is equal to PT into GT into GR the whole into lambda by 4 pi R the whole square. Let this be taken as equation 1. So now let us take the value of the logarithm at both the sides of this equation. Let us just take the logarithm. So taking log on both the sides, we get 10 log PR is equal to 10 log PT plus 10 log GT plus 10 log GR plus 20 log lambda by 4 pi r but this is the gain in db that is in decimals so rearranging this equation we get gain of the transmitter in db plus gain of the receiver in db is equal to 10 log pr by pt plus 20 log 4 pi r by lambda so we got this because we know the basics of logarithm that log a b is equal to log a plus log b and log a by b is equal to log a minus log b and log of something the whole squared is equal to 2 twice the logarithm of that particular value. That is how the value of squared has come over here which equates to 20 log 4 pi r which has come over here. So rearranging the equation we get this particular equation. So now let us assume that this equation is taken as equation number 2. But, 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 since we have considered both the antennas to be identical, both the antennas will have the same value of gain. Therefore, the gain of the transmitter and the gain of the receiver are both equal. And hence, we can take GT of dB is equal to GR of dB is equal to G is in decibels. So therefore, rearranging this equation, we get gain in decibels is equal to half the value of 10 log PR by PT plus 20 log 4 pi R the whole divided by lambda. So this is how we can find the gain of a particular antenna using the two antenna method which comes under the absolute method for calculating the gain of a particular antenna. So here in this case we have considered two identical antennas and when we have two antennas the equation to calculate the power that is received at one end of an antenna is obtained using Friss transmission equation which is given as PR is equal to PT into GT into GR whole into lambda by 4 pi R the whole square. So taking logarithm on both sides we get so this value of logarithm and by rearranging that equation we get this value. But since we have assumed that both the antennas are identical the value of gain of the transmitter and the receiver will be equal and therefore finding the value of that gain we have gain in db is equal to half of 10 log pr by pt plus 20 log 4 pi r by lambda as simple as that 
So now, we just saw how to calculate the value of gain of a particular antenna when we have two identical antennas. So what do we do when we don't have two identical antennas? Then what we use is, we use the three antenna method which comes under the absolute method for calculation of the gain of an antenna. So for this purpose, we use three antennas which has got the value of gain as G1, G2 and G3 correspondingly. So here, this method is used when the two antennas are not identical and therefore we use three antennas which has got gain G1, G2 and G3. So after we consider three antennas, we compare the first and the second antenna using Friss equation. Then we compare the second and the third antenna using Friss equation. And finally, we calculate the first and the third antenna using Friss equation. Let that not confuse you. Let us find out. So combining antenna 1 and 2, by using the Friss equation, we get the Friss equation as G1 in decibels at G2, value of G2 in decibels is equal to 10 log PR2 divided by PT1 plus 20 log 4 pi R divided by lambda. So let us take this as equation A. And now, combining antennas 2 and 3, we get the value of Friss equation as the gain G2 in dB plus G3 in dB is equal to 10 log PR2 divided by PT3 plus 20 log 4 pi R by lambda. So let us assume this to be equation B. And now, combining antennas 1 and 3, we get G1 in terms of dB plus G3 in terms of dB is equal to 10 log PR3 by PT1 plus 20 log 4 pi R by lambda. So let us take this as equation C. So here, in this case, when we look at the right hand side of all the three equations, equation A, equation B and equation C, we can see that the value of power PR2, PT1, PR2, PT3, PR3, PT1, all that is already known. They are actually constants. And here also, the value of r and lambda and pi and 4, they are all constants. So basically here, all the values are known. So these are known values. But, 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 in this case, the value of g1, g2 and g3 are unknown. And therefore, here we have three equations with three unknowns. And therefore, by solving the three equations, we can find the value of the three variables g1, g2 and g3. As simple as that. And therefore, by solving these three equations, we can find the corresponding value of the gain of the antennas g1, g2 and g3. By solving A, B and C, we get the value of G1, G2 and G3. This thus sums up how we can calculate the value of gain for a particular antenna using the three antenna method which comes under the absolute method for calculating the value of the gain of an antenna. So finally now we have the comparison method for the purpose of finding the value of the gain of a particular antenna. So how do we find the gain using comparison method? Well, for that we need three antennas one source antenna, one reference antenna and then the test antenna whose gain we have to find. So here, at the transmitter side, we have a source antenna which has got a gain value of G1. That is at the transmitter side. So there is one antenna at the transmitter side. Okay. So now, and at the receiver side, we have two antennas. So there are two antennas in the receiver side. The reference antenna which has got a value G2 and the test antenna whose value of gain we have to find. So here the value G2 of the reference antenna is a known value. That is we know the value of this gain of the reference antenna. So the gain that we have to find is the, of the test antenna. So here this is the setup. So here we have a source antenna which is at the transmitter side which has got a value of gain as G1. So, and at the receiver side now, we place two antennas, which is the reference antenna whose value of gain G2 is known and the antenna whose value of gain we have to find, which is the test antenna. So, this is, this is G2 and G3, okay. So, now, let this be the receiver end. So, what we first do is, we connect, this is a particular switch. So, when the switch is in the one position, that is when we have a connection over here, then by applying Friss equation, we get PR2 is equal to PT into G1 into G2, the whole into lambda by 4 pi R, the whole square. So now let us take this as equation number 1. So now we have obtained the value of the power when it is connected to the reference antenna. So now let us now remove this particular switch and now let us take this switch at position 2. 
and therefore now this particular receiver is connected to the test antenna whose value of gain g3 we have to find so when it is connected to the test antenna the Friss equation we get is pr3 is equal to pt into g1 into g3 the whole into lambda by 4 pi r the whole square so this is taken as equation 2 now 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 let us divide equation 1 with equation 2 so by dividing equation 1 with equation 2 we get pr2 by pr3 is equal to pt and g1 gets cancelled lambda by 4 pi r square also gets cancelled so by dividing equation 1 and equation 2 we get pr2 by pr3 is equal to g2 by g3 so here the value of g2 is known and the only unknown value is the value g3 and therefore writing this equation in, in terms of g3 we get g3 is equal to pr3 by pr2 the whole into g2 and therefore this is the value of the gain of the test antenna whose gain we have to find and this is the value of the gain of the reference antenna that we have used in order to find the value of gain so therefore we get the gain of the test antenna is equal to pr3 by pr2 into the gain of the reference antenna this is the equation with which we can find the value of gain using the comparison method where we have have a single source antenna at the transmitter side and we use two antennas one is the reference antenna and the other is a test antenna in which the value of gain for the reference antenna is known and therefore the value of the gain for the test antenna is what we have to find this thus sums up how we can find the value of the gain of a particular antenna so we saw two methods one is the absolute method and then comes the comparison method in absolute method we saw two ways in which we can calculate the value of gain one is a two antenna method and the other one is a three antenna method and then finally we have seen the comparison method for the purpose of calculating the value of gain for a particular antenna so i hope you guys have a clear idea as in how to find the value of gain of a particular antenna so stay tuned for more such videos and thank you for watching see you bye